Hello universe, welcome to my world. We do Angelina Jordan videos in all sizes, shapes, and forms, and today we're looking at a very unusual performance from her of a Whitney Houston classic, I Want to Dance with Somebody. I'm sure 98% of you know this song very well, but just to refresh your memory, we're going to hear an introductory version from Music Travel Love. There are a couple of Canadian brothers who travel the world, setting up their music studio as they go along. And here they are performing on the sand dunes in Abu Dhabi in the Middle East. And there, surprisingly, is an acoustic cover of this famous upbeat Whitney Houston classic. Clock strikes, pull me out. The sun begins to fade Still enough time to figure out How to chase my blues away I've done alright up to now It's the light of day that shows me how And when the night falls My loneliness calls yeah. But if you stop and listen to the lyric It's a sad song it's full of regret, and some versions actually go in that direction. When we hear Connor Maynard, he's an English singer, doing his version of the song, there's more pain than sadness. Conversations in the dead of the night, I can feel them slip away. You said it's over and you're probably right, but the truth is hard to face. My friends are trying to get me out But the pain of the heartbreak is much too loud Cause when the night falls I just want your call When we go to France and we meet the duo Imani and Camelia Jordana, their version is more sad than painful. Very unusual interpretation of Whitney Houston's dance number. Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begin to fade. Still enough time to fever around how to chase my blues away. You have time for a story? Well, when I was nine years old for my birthday, my grandfather gave me a trumpet, and that was going to be my future career. And I even had some lesson. And the music teacher, while I was playing, looked at me and saw my foot tapping as I was playing. He said, good, you need to do that. You need to hear the rhythm and feel the rhythm and keep in time. And that's how we're viewing the following dance versions. We're going to see not just the rhythm and timing, but the way the music takes over and moves the body and moves you and inspires and the way the music grabs you. The very famous scene from a Popeye cartoon where his granny, after taking spinach, has a spinach surge through her where she really spins like a top and a lot of these performers singing this song are almost spinning like a top as they sing so today we're not so much focusing on the vocals we're much more focusing on how the music goes through you like an electric shock and you can't keep still first we're going to hear first to 11 they're a pop band out of pennsylvania and what the movement and the enthusiasm of how the song grips the lead singer And when we hear Scary Pockets, they're a cover band who do funk versions. The lead singer is still gripped, is still moved by the rhythm in a very emphatic way in her own style. And you don't have to be standing up and dancing to be moved. When Will Gittins does a duet with Brené, Brené is actually sitting down and moving to the rhythm. Sitting down does not cramp her style at all when she feels the music. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. I wanna feel the heat with somebody. Yeah, I wanna dance with somebody. And when 
we go to Atlanta, Georgia, we're meeting a cover band by the name of The Gold Standard, and they really feel the music as well. Beatrice Floria is a Romanian singer, and she also feels the music when she sings. In her head and her heart and her shoulders, her whole body is just taken over by the music. And she does a little shoulder shrug as well. It's not just that all of these singers are dancing to the music, they're being taken over by the music. And this is Genevieve Minkowski. She's a Christian singer who first appeared on American Idol. And it's not so much the vocal expression, it's the physical expression of how the music has just taken over. Now we've reached the original Whitney Houston classic video. Her movement is a little more subtle than some of the other versions we've seen, but you don't get to be Whitney Houston without really feeling the music. We're coming to our featured artist, as usual, Angelina Jordan. And before we hear her treatment of the song, let's look at a couple of other examples of how she feels the music and how she responds to the music. First, when she's giving a live performance of Loving You, watch her legs, watch her feet. That's where she's feeling the rhythm. And there's no chance that she can keep still while she's doing this performance. <laughs> This rehearsal of I Put a Spell on You, just like Keanu Reeves playing the air guitar, Angelina Jordan also plays the air guitar. And watch the expression on her face, her eyes close, she's feeling the music, and she's having fun with it. <laughs> Now Angelina Jordan wants to dance with somebody. This is actually 10% about her singing and 90% about her feeling the music. She's showing off her dance moves, but the music is going right through her, like a hot knife through butter. And at the very end, listen to the last three seconds, the way she finishes on a high note. Quite striking and quite dramatic. <laughs> This is Angelina Jordan feeling the music in the bathroom of her Parisian hotel.
We're so lucky to have hundreds and hundreds of songs and videos and TikToks from Angelina Jordan so that we get to know her really well on so many levels, musically, emotionally. We will continue to explore the multifaceted world of Angelina in the future. Okay, gang, I'm out of here. I'll catch you later. Bye.